Millions of viewers tune in each year to see which lucky beauty queen will win the coveted title of Miss USA. Now, of course, many secretly watch to see if someone will fall on stage or completely bomb during the onstage interview portion. But in those moments, what we're really hoping to see is that these women are real people, just like us. So I traveled to New York City to find out who the woman behind the crown really is. Take a look. 22-year-old Kristen Dalton from North Carolina was crowned Miss USA 2009 and went on to be a top 10 finalist at the Miss Universe pageant. She is obviously a driven and focused woman. When I entered her posh Manhattan apartment, I didn't know what to expect. She welcomed me with a wide smile and opened her home with Southern grace and charm. It is fully furnished and decorated, compliments of Donald Trump and the Miss Universe organization. All Kristen had to add was her own personality. First of all, thank you so much for giving us the time and letting us come to your fabulous apartment here in New York. I'm so excited that y'all are here. You're the second Miss North Carolina to be uh, Miss USA. Yes. When did you decide that this was a goal? Well, my mom was Miss North Carolina USA in 1982, and she always had her trophy and her crown sitting on her dresser. Um, so whenever, ever since I was a little girl, since I was three years old, I would go into her room and try on her crown and practice my winning moment. Um, so I always kind of had it in the back of my mind. And uh, I have two younger sisters, and we always watched Miss USA every single year since we were kids. It was kind of like a holiday at our house. And we would pop popcorn and drink orange juice, and um, I just... I, whenever I, I would watch the, the winning moment, it just always made me so emotional and so excited. And in the back of my mind, I was always like, I want to be that one day. So Now, when you actually had your winning moment uh, back in April, <laughs> was it the one you had practiced all those years in your mom's bedroom, or was no. it different? <laughs> <laughs> you, as much as you practice, you can never prepare yourself for that kind of adrenaline. And I don't know, it was just so amazing whenever I won. It was a dream come true. And definitely um, a whirlwind. People watch the Miss USA pageant that have never done a beauty pageant, you know, and they just are entertained by the process. They always wonder how, what these girls are thinking as they're sitting there holding hands with their arms around each other and smiling and grinning and <laughs> what's actually going through your mind as you're waiting for them to hopefully call your name. Well, by that point, we actually are friends because we're there uh, for two and a half or three weeks. So we all do bond and um, we're all supporting each other. We really sure. are. Um, so at that point, you're just holding on to each other because you have so many butterflies in your stomach that if you don't hold on to each other, you're going to like fall over. <laughs> so you like need each other's support. The biggest challenge for you after you won was what? I think the biggest challenge was, you know, you, when you win, you're like, well, I got it all together. I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm perfect. And then you come here and they're like, actually, you're not perfect. You have a lot of things that you need to work on. and. Um, uh, you know, a lot of development to do, and you're still growing. You're Miss USA, but um, you know, you still have things to work on. I know that one of the challenges that every person faces when you go into a room, there are the stereotypical ideals that go along. There's, there's ideas that go along with a beauty queen. People think beauty queen. A lot of times, they think you know, vacuous person. How do you overcome that? That stereotype every time you kind of face it. Well, there are different ways, and. Um, one thing that I think a lot of people don't know is that as Miss, U as Miss USA and as a state title holder in the USA system, um, we, we're all spokeswomen. Mm -hmm. And my job is to be a spokesperson for breast and ovarian cancer research and also women's health issues in general and to be a role model. You know, because the thing is in pageants, you, you have to be at your personal best in health and fitness, um, mentally, you know, you have to know what's going on in the world and your community and in your nation. You have to have an educated opinion on these issues. Um, you have to give back to your community. So you are a very well-rounded woman. And in my opinion, you, you're the ultimate woman. Did your mom have words of advice for you as you were growing up? Because she obviously knew the pitfalls, the ups and the downs of being involved in the process and being involved in beauty pageants. I was at home yesterday and um, she said, remember your raisins. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, remind me of those again. And we had a set of house rules um, whenever I was growing up. And I was like, if you make a mess, clean it up. If you want something, ask for it. Um, and she's like, just remember where you, where you came from and stay humble. Um, and you know, remember the people who are close to you and always you know, treat people with respect. So. Great advice from a woman looked up to by young girls everywhere. It was time for me to head back out into the world, but I left knowing that no matter where Kristen Dalton lands next, she will maintain the solid foundation that her family helped her build. You can take the girl out of the South, but you can't take the South out of the girl.
So cute, love her.